Hey guys and welcome back to Cubing with Cats. Today I'm going to show you how to solve the clock. So the first step is knowing how the pins affect the dials. So say we just have one pin up. Then it will turn these four clocks and this back clock. Say we have two pins up. It'll turn these four, six clocks and these two back clocks. Three pins will make it turn these eight clocks and these three back clocks. And then four pins will make it turn all the clocks. But say you are turning a dial with the pin down next to it. Then it'll turn the corner clocks that are down, like it'll turn, it'll be basically be the reverse of what you were doing with the pins up. So it'll turn these six and these two. It's best to just experiment with this yourself to see how it works. It, it gives you the most understanding. That's what I did. And, well, I don't think that... Eh, should you try to be... No, I, I'm averaging like 16. But, so, now I'm just going to scramble it up. And once it's scrambled, I can get to doing a few walkthrough solves on it. This one and then maybe a few others, I don't know. Okay, you ready? So now, I'm going to bring these four clocks up. So I can make these three matching go to 12. I accidentally made three matching. Then I'm going to put these two down so that this clock does not turn. So I can make the rest of them match. Then I can bring it up. And now it matches. Then I'm going to put these two clocks down, these two pins down. So I can make the rest of the clocks match that clock. Front cross and back cross are what we're going for. Then I can bring them up and then bring them back into place. Now all four clocks on the first side are solved. Now I go to the other side. And let's see, this one's already solved, and so is this one, so I don't want either of those to turn. And then I'll just move these two so that it's up, and then I'll turn these two pins down so I can bring them over, and I can bring it back. Maybe I'll make a getting faster at clock video, I don't know. So, I'll put, so now we're doing corners, because we've got both crosses solved. So the first step is solving one of these corners, of course. So I'm going to put the pin down for the corner I'm going to solve. I'm going to make the rest of the pins match that corner, and I'm going to bring the pin up, and bring it back so that it's solved. Next I'll do that with the next corner, pin down, make it match, pin up, then bring it back. Next corner, pin down, make it match, pin up, bring it back. And then next, last corner, pin down, make it match, pin up, bring it back. So that's basically the clock. Maybe I'll do a speed solve at the end of this video. So now it's time for a quick speed solve. So I've got my stack mat here, and I've got my currently not scrambled clock. So let's fix that, huh? Let me get this out of the way for now. There's a few tricks that you kind of just figure out on how to be more efficient, at least that's how it worked for me. So it's now scrambled, I'm gonna get this in, I'm gonna do inspection, and hopefully this is sub 20. This is really hard with my arm going through a tripod. Point one oh five. Why don't we just do one more for good measure? Or until I get a sub 20. I was sub 20, but it's really hard with your arm going around a tripod and stuff. So, ready, set, go. Seventeen point seven one seven. Not that great. I'm averaging like sixteen, fifteen ish, but still sub twenty. So yeah, pretty good. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see and I'll see you in my next video.